This is a 1709 engraving by Michael Vandergoogt sent to me by Christopher Johnson. There's quite a bit encoded in the image, some of which I'm going to cover. The first thing to notice is the date, 1709. 1 plus 7 plus 0 plus 9 equals 17, Edward de Vere's Earl number. That, of course, can just be a coincidence. But look at what's being pointed to. The muse on the right is holding a branch that's pointed to the letter M. Actually, it's pointed to twice by the branch and its shadow, as if the artist really wants us to look here. The other character being pointed to is the number 5, by the mouthpiece of an instrument that I couldn't find the name of. With Gematria, the letter M is equal to 12. Add 12 to the number 5 and get 17, again De Vere's Earl number. But if this code is for Oxford, there should be a number 40 somewhere. It's found simply by adding the numbers of the date. Add the year as 16 plus 16, equaling 32. Then add the age as 5 plus 3, which is 8. 32 plus 8 is 40. So we have 17 by adding the characters being pointed to, m which is equal to 12, plus 5. Then add the year and age, 16 plus 16, plus 5 plus 3, 17 and 40, Edward de Vere's Earl and code number. Also, if we add up all the numbers, 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 equals 22, or twice 11. If you've been following these videos, especially lately, you know that I've been finding many examples of twice 11 and 1740. I think twice 11 refers to a secret society De Vere was the leader of, twice 11 brethren. This group may have been a branch of the Brothers of the Golden and Rosy Cross, which later became the Rosicrucians. So encoded within the name and date of the memorial are 1740, Edward De Vere's Earl and Code Number, and 22, or twice 11. William Shakespeare was 52 when he died, but on memorials it says he passed in his 53rd year. By discovering 1740 and twice 11 in the date on the engraving, I believe I figured out why they always use 53 instead of 52, like on the Shakespeare Memorial in Stratford, which I'll be covering later in this video. Right now I want to go over what Christopher Johnson discovered. At the base of the monument, next to the instrument, is a sheet of music. The mouthpiece of the instrument is pointing to the number 5. What Christopher figured out is, if you number the notes of the fifth scale, 1 through 7, and then add up the value of the notes on the sheet, they equal De Vere's Earl number. Here's how it works. Remember, the instrument's pointing to the number 5. The notes of the fifth scale are G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Number the notes 1 through 7. G is 1, A is 2, and so on. At the end of the instrument, where the music comes out, is the sheet of music. The sheet is upside down and the staves only have four lines, but if we read the heads of the notes just as they are and compare it to this scale, the notes on the first staff can be interpreted as G and E. On the other staff, the notes are A, G, and F. Again, the stabs on the engraving only have four lines, and instead of the A note being below the third line from the top, it's above the second line from the bottom. This may have been done to compensate for the space allowed. According to Christopher, the notes are A, G, F, G, and E. Correspond the notes with their values on the fifth scale, add them up and get 17, again, Edward de Vere's Earl number. The number 40 is found by adding up these V-shaped characters etched into the monument on the left side of the instrument. In Roman numerals, V is drawn for the number 5. There are 8 Vs here, and 8 times 5 is 40. So 17 is encoded on the sheet of music on the right side of the instrument, and 40 is on its left, etched near the base of the monument, 1740 Edward de Vere's Earl and Code Number. If what Christopher found is legitimate, it's an exceptional example of decoding and would be the second 1740 on the page. Is there a third? I sent the engraving to Ron Raphael, who set to finding what he could. Among the many things he discovered, he pointed out the light and dark pillars representing Joaquin and Boaz, which are symbols of Freemasonry. 
He also believes that the two laurels above Shakespeare's head may represent two identities, one laurel for the man being given credit for the works of Shakespeare and the other for the actual writer, Edward de Vere. Ron also suggests that the offset R in Mr. could be another reference to 17, because R is the 17th letter using gematria. This got me thinking, M is equal to 12 as I showed earlier, but also in Hebrew, M is Mem, which is equivalent to 40. Could the offset R be 17 and the M or Mem in Mr. be 40? I feel confident about the code I found and the date, but if all this is correct, that means three times 1740 can be found on the engraving. Now I want to show you what I found on the memorial in Stratford. If I'm right about this, we'll now understand why they always put Shakespeare's age of death as 53 instead of 52, which it should be if we're talking about William Shakespeare of Stratford. Alexander Waugh has done a brilliant job deciphering what's being said here in his video, Monkey Business at Stratford-upon-Avon. He's also pointed out that, at the end of the poem, there are 17 characters on the line just below the four T's, 1740. Now let me show you what I've discovered about this date. I'm using black and white because it's easier to see. We already know that if we add the numbers of the years as 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3, we get 22 or twice 11. And if we add them as 16 plus 16 and 5 plus 3, we get 40, De Vere's code number. So where's the 17? It's found by adding the numbers on the last line, the age, the day, and the month, which is April, the fourth month. The age is 53, or 5 plus 3. The day, 23, or 2 plus 3, and 4, the month of April. 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 17. By adding the numbers of the last line, we get 17. And by adding the numbers referring to years, 16, 16, and 53, we get 40. 17, 40. By changing a single number, raising 52 to 53, we get 1740, De Vere's Erlen code number, and 22 or twice 11. Whoever designed this figured out that 1616 and 53 could get the numbers 40 and 22, but they also had to make sure there was additional information to get 17. On the engraving, it's done by pointing to the letter M and the number 5, and on the memorial, it's done by adding the numbers on the last line, the age, day, and month. None of these numbers could be found if those who designed the memorials printed Shakespeare's actual age of death, 52. To encode that it's Edward de Vere who's being memorialized, and to avoid suspicion, they used 53, as if to imply Shakespeare was in his 53rd year. Once you turn a certain age, you're already past that number and into the next year. Alexander Waugh believes there's a correspondence between the Shakespeare Memorial in Stratford and the one in Westminster, and pointed out that the shape of the Masonic Square made on the bottom right of the Stratford Memorial reflects the 1740 Masonic Square on the upper left of the one in Poet's Corner. I went over this a couple videos ago, that a Mason Square is L-shaped, and with Gematria, L is equal to 11. In our emails, Wa and I were being kind of facetious about this, but if the memorials do correspond, the 1740 messages are in the shape of a letter L. L is equal to 11, and there's two of them. Is this another example of twice 11? Whether or not that was intended by the designers, I don't know. But I believe this date was manufactured to memorialize Edward de Vere and explains why they chose 53 instead of 52 for Shakespeare's age. I want to thank Christopher Johnson, Ron Raphael, and Alexander Waugh as we try to find clues that help answer the Shakespeare authorship question.